Hey guys, it's time to start talking about one of the most complicated parts of C++, or at least difficult to understand, and that's uh, pointers, which um, are used to point to a set of data um, using a data type called a pointer. So, first of all, before I go over this, you might have watched my last video and kind of wondered, um, when I was doing using a for loop to output that array, um, if I had my array, like this, say five integers, one, two, three, four, five, wow, that did not turn out well. There, one, two, three, four, five. Um, why am I doing this for loop? Why don't I just see out the array like that? That should work, right? Um, and the truth is, that's not going to work. You're going to have this, um, well, I'll show you. Look at that. That is clearly not this array. Um, so you look at that and you're wondering, well, what is that? I've never seen that kind of output before. I, th I was expecting a few integers. That's definitely not an integer. Um, well, what this is, is this is the address in memory of this array, or more specifically of the first element. But um, we're not going to talk about arrays for much more in this video. But that's just, uh, you might have seen that and wondered what that is. So that's what we're going to be talking about, because that's an address, and that's what pointers are. So say we have an integer, say a. Let's have it equal 10 right now. Now if we wanted to output this, we could see out a, you know, very similar to how we outputted Hello World in the first video. But... Um, and we get 10, of course. But what if we had, what, what if we wanted a variable to point to this data? Instead of actually being this data, we want a variable to point to it. So, the way that you do that is you use something called a pointer. And a pointer works very similar to how, um, you might, uh, to point someone, to give someone directions on how to get to your house, you might tell them your address. Instead of, um, you know, showing them a picture of your house, that's not going to tell them very much. It's kind of similar, the way that pointers work in C++, though they're not really used for something like that. But that's just kind of a way you can think about it. So the way you make a, a pointer is you put in your data type. Um, integer pointers will point to integers. Character pointers uh, will point to characters. So make sure that that's consistent. Um, and then you put an asterisk. And you can put the asterisk right next to the integer, or you can put a space after the integer. Um, but either way, then you have to put your data, or the name of uh, what you want to call the pointer. So I'll call it just pointer, or pointer, to be very clear. So you can use a semicolon, and then initialize it on the next line or later. Um, you know, like that, pointer equals. Or you can do it all on the same line like we have been doing. So what we're going to set this pointer equal to is the address of A. So we use this operator. It's called the address operator. And um, it's a unary operator. And it's going to return the address of whatever uh, data is its uh, operand. So you'll see if we, uh, we can see out A. And then below that, let's go ahead and see out pointer, which is going to be the address of A. So you see 10, and then you see the address. They're very different, and in fact they don't have anything to do with each other. So if we see out A and then pointer, and then let's say if we change A to something like uh, 3004. Now let's see out A, and let's again see out that pointer. You see the first time, A is 10. And the pointer is this, you know, 0x, bff, ff, 9f, 8. Um, and then later, a is 3004, and the address is the same. So the address doesn't change as the data changes. Um, another way to think about pointers is you could think about them the same way, same way you kind of think about this variable name. 
This variable name, a, that doesn't change when we change the value of a. a is still called a whether it's 10 or whether it's 3004. But we can use a to um, kind of point to this data. So this integer a is really kind of a pointer to an integer data. The integer pointer pointer points to um, and the integer a, which points to the integer data. So if you, you can kind of think about it as a chain of pointers. And um, you, you'll see that a little bit more the more that you use pointers. So that's about it for pointers, really. The only other thing that you need to know is, say we wanted to output, say we, we, we weren't able to output a, just like that. But we, we still want to output um, the data pointed to by pointer or pointed at by pointer. So basically we want to output 10 without using the variable a. It's pretty simple. You just use this operator. It's an asterisk. I believe it's called the dereference operator in this context. You notice it's a unary operator. It only has one operand, and that is a pointer. And when we do this, it's going to output um, whatever data this pointer points to. And because this pointer points to uh, this pointer is the address of A, which means it points to A, so this operator is going to uh, basically take the value of A, and then it's it's going to feed that into this yeah. So we should expect 10. And indeed, we have 10 here. So that's pretty much all you really need to know about pointers right now. Um, they don't seem very useful right now, but they're going to get useful, and it's going to be important that you understand them. So make sure that you understand this video and you understand pointers, and then we'll move on and you'll, you'll see how useful they can be and where they can be used. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, rate it high. If you didn't, rate it low. If you have a question, leave a comment, send me a message. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, see you guys next time. Oops. Yeah.